Good morning, I'm Tomas Parrieto and this is October 8th, 6 a.m. I just started working, the kids are getting ready to go to school. I just want to talk to you about winterization, especially that the, the temperature are going to start falling within the next uh, few weeks, uh, next month, and you plan to have the property vacant for whatever reason, maybe it hasn't sold, uh, and you don't want to spend much money on gas bills uh, this winter, I do recommend doing winterization. I'm not a plumber, I do recommend that you talk to a plumber, but I can tell you some of the steps I mean to do winterization. Number one, you have to shut off the water at the meter. Then you have to open all the faucets so you can run all the water out, uh, the kitchen faucets, uh, bathroom faucets. And then you have to make sure that you drain all the lines. I mean you have to run, you have to let the water to to, to drain all the way. And if you have a compressor, I would recommend that you blow the lines so there's no water in the system. Uh, also, uh, companies, I mean, they recommend that you drain the water heater. I mean, this might be a little bit more challenging, but the water heater has a drain connection and you can run the, that valve and, and drain all the water heater so you don't have any water inside the water heater. Uh, of course, you have to shut off the, the gas and the electric to the water heater. Um, also, uh, people recommend that you close the damper in the fireplace so you don't have any cold air coming through the fireplace. Install an antifreeze. Uh, you can add the antifreeze to all the, all the drains, so all the feed traps are full of antifreeze, so that section doesn't, doesn't freeze and doesn't break your plumbing. Uh, also, you have to drain the toilets, uh, so make sure that you you shut off uh, the toilets and drain the, the bowl uh, so make sure that there's no water in there because if you freeze, I mean, you can also crack the tank um, Some of the things uh, also that I recommend is to remove any hose from any exterior faucets I mean, you don't want that to freeze and crack as well If you like this video and have any more questions and like I said, I'm not a plumber but you can talk to any licensed plumber or any details um, I do recommend doing winterization to uh, vacant properties, especially in this cold weather. I mean, you don't want to have any issues with, with water running all over the property and causing thousands and thousands of damages. If you like this video, uh, like it, um, share, and any questions, just send us a feedback. Thank you.